Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I am working on this uh, under the counter ice maker again. A few years ago it stopped working intermittently. It would make ice sometimes, then it wouldn't. And uh, I found the problem to be the uh, start relay right here, which I have disconnected. Now the compressor is not coming on, the fan's coming on. Every other function seems to work just fine, except this is not coming on. So uh, I could have ordered $50 more parts here um, just to try it out. But on Amazon, they sell this uh, complete start series, a relay start capacitor. Um, so this is only $10. So I am going to hook this up in the place of that and see if this turns on to see if, in fact, this is my problem. So, uh, let me figure this out, and then we will go ahead and install it on here. We'll turn it on and see if it's going to work. Okay, an important note on here is when you are connecting a system without a run capacitor, do not remove the two insulated caps. So, that is a start relay. So, um, it is not a capacitor. So, we are going to do it. We're not remove those two insulated caps. So, let me get this out of here. Okay, so this is, uh, I, before I even ordered this part, I tested this. Um, and it, there's a, a video online. I'll put a link to it on what these readings should be. This should be like 4. This should be like 11. That should be like 6 or something like that. Uh, so, I'll put the link up, up above in the corner. You can check yours. Check it if it's good then you know you can get one of these and try this to see if this is the problem the start the start relay or whatever so um these two wires the they come down from the out uh top and one's white and it these are both black they don't matter which side uh you go to so i hook them up and then uh i did the white to the left black to the top and red to the right just like in the diagram here now uh, we'll just go ahead and turn it on and see if this actual compressor comes on hopefully it does I disconnected these because if they if these are not the problem then I can hook them back up with the wire nuts okay so I've let this sit for a couple minutes it ran um, a couple clean I don't know ran a couple psych like water cycles and now the fan is on it sounds like this is on so we are going to see if it makes some ice. So I put that start capacitor or run capacitor or whatever you want to call it, the three in one capacitor in. And here we are about five hours later, six hours later, and we are good to go. We are making ice a considerable amount. And um, that was definitely the problem. So now I'm gonna order the actual correct components to replace with it but now for ten dollars i figured out that this ice maker needed fifty dollars worth of parts thanks for watching i hope this video helps you if it does please subscribe to my channel because that helps me and i appreciate it